Hello to everyone and welcome back. This is Tosashi and today I'm um, playing another Skyfire game here and it's exciting because this mecha came out about 10 days ago and like I said last time I do think it deserves some upgrades, some tweaking and the developers did do exactly that. Um, the patch notes of past Thursday had some interesting things in so let's go over it here while I loot some stuff um, so if I remember correctly uh, the continuous shooting of the human's form pr uh, form's primary weapon can now be interrupted by the human's form secondary skill tactical skill core skill and reloading this used to be like a bug where you kind of had to let go of the shooting and then press the button which made you lose like precious time Ooh, nice some purple armor there some jumping pads so, seems to be a pretty good starter actually so that's just a bug fix they made the um, um, the mech a little bit more durable by increasing its basic durability from 2200 to 2400. Uh, it also they also reduced the fuel cost of jumping human form by 25 percent. I mean, the buff is nice because the mecha definitely needs buffs, but to be honest, I don't think the jumping was the, the core issue here because mostly the tank form, but yeah, it seems like they have been um mostly increasing and buffing the human form so they also slightly increase the mecha's movement speed while human form and that is very noticeable um so again human form is now in a relatively healthy state i would say uh the tank form itself though is still um to be honest, might need some work. I still would love to see it be a bit more tanky, because they did add uh, what I did uh, didn't mention yet. They added like kind of like a movement speed acceleration button instead of a dash. So they added a tactical skill. Oh, there's nobody there. But they added a tactical skill to the tank form, where you press it and you go a little bit faster for like what three or four seconds or something, um, in the vehicle form. It is helpful. It is a welcome addition. Personally, I would love to see this um, acceleration time window to be still enhanced. So now it's like three or four seconds. I'm gonna see it in. Uh, I'm gonna see it really soon. I recorded this game a couple of days ago. Ooh, someone is shooting me. Let's see here if I can snipe them. Got Silver Deacon here, a relatively tanky pilot. You. Where are you? Oh, there's another Silver Deacon. Oh, missed. Nope. <laughs> Missing everything. Okay, not everything. Got a couple shots in there. Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I am really welcoming these. Oh, there's. That seems to be a player with an Achilles rifle. Not too useful on this range, but let's take our distance anyway trying to get for those feet shots here but not qu uh oh <laughs> so they are playing a skyfire skyfire of their own so let's get the hell out of here keep moving jump um, and hide inside of this building a little bit while uh, getting my mech up and getting myself to a bit more healthy state my um, Tanky feature did not trigger yet. Okay, got a bit of a damage in there. Just some harassing while they are trying to take me down. Okay, I managed to buy myself enough time to get my own Skyfire. Oh, not yet. Yes, yeah, there we go. To get my own Skyfire in there. Let's see if we can have a nice little brawl here. Skyfire versus Skyfire. They're all behind me. I completely missed it. <laughs> there we go. Again, I still think the secondary of the human form could use some work. Okay. They, they beat me fair and square there, but they're very low and I do have a nice shotgun here. So let's take them down real quick and return to safety here. Do not underestimate the power of the Shadow Star shotgun there. Yeah, let's uh, keep moving though, because I'm not in a good spot. Okay, time to reload. Uh, 
and see if we can take down that pilot. There's multiple people still fighting. I'm all reloaded, let's get in there for the kill. I do hear the Achilles rifle, and I would love to take it off your, off your hands there. There you are. Yeah, I will just blast right through your Achilles rifle. Mm-hmm, there you go. That was very effective, GG though. I will gladly take the Achilles rifle and the explosive sniper rifle. Thank you very much for your donation. And there's the Vita right there, okay. Let's get into my mech immediately before anyone kills me. Alright, that was a pretty explosive session right there. So yeah, as I was saying, I think the human form definitely got some deserve. Oh, people are moving some chairs upstairs. Excuse me for the <laughs> intense sound. Um, so the human form definitely um, got. Damn, they're really going for it upstairs. The human form definitely got its um, well deserved uh, buffs. But I still would like to see the secondary weapon of the human form just explode on impact as well. Not only when you have the perfect distance to the enemy, but just let it explode on impact because it's it's already not the easiest one to hit. Uh, its splash damage is a little bit underwhelming. I'm trying to get through there, but I can't. Um, so yeah, I do think that definitely still can help out. But as you can see here, 3200 durability, including the shield, is really pretty good actually. And as you can see, the, the fuel cost of the jumping is definitely noticeable. You can, in combat now, move around faster in your human form and jump around quite a bit. But will it be enough? That's the question. Oh, got some nice shots in there. And yeah, that enemy did not have any time to respond to my barrage of rockets. But yeah, that splash damage of the secondary, as you saw, I, I did miss, fair enough, but it didn't explode, it didn't cluster, it didn't do anything, and it missed completely. And even though I'm running all splash damage, uh, like increased AoE radius, increased AoE damage in my mods, it's still not enough. Here you see the speed increase, and that was it. <laughs> so yeah, um, again, I'm happy with the buffs, I'm happy with the changes, but it's not enough, I would say. I still think in the roster of current mecha, which it's a pretty big roster, it's like 34 mecha or something, um, I do think this mecha is still at the bottom of, um, of well, of capabilities, let's put it that way. You can still win you get duels, you can still brawl with uh, any other player, but it's very dependent on the player rather than, than the mecha. I don't think the mecha offers enough yet. Um, while I'm reflecting on these um, patch notes from past Thursday, there's a couple things that I wanted to say that I was a bit surprised by, and actually am welcoming them. So for example, the recharger, those um, blue items that you can find to... Oh, so I had to open the door for someone, let's see where was I. Um, I forgot what I was talking about, uh, that's all right. I'm just rambling a little bit. Oh yeah, I remember, I um, was checking the patch notes. So the rechargers. Uh, those blue items that you can use to get your mecha up quicker or recharge it after it being taken down now can also heal your mecha. So they can restore mecha's durability in Battle Royale mode specifically. Um, and I've tried it, they don't work when you're in your mecha. So I, I'm guessing they only work when you're in pilot form while after uh, this, um, well, voluntarily leaving your mecha. So that sounds like a really welcome addition, actually. Um, I'm really happy with that change. So that's a pretty, uh, I would say, a meta change there, because um, yeah, those, those are the rechargers, those blue circle thingies. They apparently now also heal uh, the mecha. So 
don't don't sleep on this. Don't uh, <laughs> make sure you're aware of this benefit that you can use after uh, demacking from a Mac. And another thing, and this one really surprised me, um, <laughs> is uh, Hurricane received another another buff. Namely, it's, uh, they increase its basic shield from 650 to 700. And if you follow me for a longer time, and if you've been watching my tier list, you know that I love Hurricane. It's one of my favorite mechas since the beginning of the game. Uh, I'm pretty pretty okay with it. It's I think my top five most played. It's in my top five most played mecha, and I would definitely say my top five strongest mecha if I would pilot it myself. Okay, there we go. That's a nice little barrage, by the way. Let's see if I can snipe them. There's two people there, and there we go. Yeah, if you don't move out of it, you're dead. <laughs> so, like I said before, I do think uh, Skyfire is a very nice uh, mecha for opening, uh, for engaging. It's not so good at disengaging, but it's really good at engaging. Also in team uh, play, I will also uh, soon share some team games. Because it's a good support mecha, I would say. Still not as good as most others, um, but as you can see, it does do quite a lot of damage. So from mecking up till death, I only had to empty one clip, and that's really not different from a uh, hurricane or a Firefox in the damage potential uh, output. So be aware of that when you're mecking up in front of an enemy. In general, I recommend against it. Don't try to mech up in front of your enemy. Try to run around a building or something and then make up then, if you can. Um, but anyway, about Hurricane. They buffed it again. And I think even before all these buffs, I already ranked it as one of the most mecha, most uh, effective and efficient and um, impressive mecha to play in this entire game. Here we go again. <laughs> use that mobility speed a little bit. You do see a difference there. See, it is it is useful. But I think the tank mode still needs some work though. This trio was just not doing so much uh, mobility-wise. Um, but yeah, I'm completely surprised why they would uh, buff Hurricane again. It was already an S plus uh, mecha in my books for as long as I played this game, which is since season 10. And the past few patches, they have been just buffing it further. Hurricane is a little bit like JoJo. Maybe it sees too little play or something in the statistics. And the designers think like it's not strong enough. But both JoJo and Hurricane are fucking crazy. So <laughs> I'm personally not against them being buffed. But they are really uh, like getting into their own category, to be honest. So maybe in my next... Um, Okay, that's a uh, Firefox. Oh, that was a mistake. I should have dashed to the side. Okay, let's see. Can I survive this? I can. But yeah, um, in my next ranking video, which is coming up probably somewhere this week or the week after, about six, uh, season 18, um, I was thinking of bringing the S plus ranking back because, uh, like a viewer of mine, uh, rightfully so uh, mentioned is that I have so many mecha in the S rank now, um, which I do agree with, by the way. Uh, it might help to have an S rank and an S plus rank, so I'm definitely going to do that. But maybe I will even add an S plus plus rank because I think Hurricane deserves to be in that spot with a few other mecha. So you will hear more about that very soon. Uh, until then. I hope you enjoyed this uh, gameplay and my reflections uh, on these patch notes. Um, and as always, I wish you all a beautiful day and peace.